Hey, hungry people! What's up? I'm Blair. And I'm Paige. And we are so excited because today is Paige's debut. Mm. And guys, it was 70 degrees this week. So you know what that you know what that calls for? That calls for like poolside summer meal. Yeah, and if we can't make watermelon because it's not really in season, <laughs> then we decided to go with the next best thing, which is drum roll, please. Oh gosh. Pasta salad! <laughs> Now what goes into the perfect pasta salad? Well, start off, you're going to need three different pans that you can get at your local tops. Um, our pans, one is for chopping things up, one is for cooking, which is an interesting choice of ours. Pan but we're, or pot? We've got pan. We've got pan, we've got pan. I personally, viewers, I would recommend a pot, but we don't <laughs> have that today. Um, and then our third is for cooking. Um, well, no, it's for consuming. A yes. lovely meal. It's yes. our plate. Yes. It'll be our lovely plate. It's I love the versatility of these. It's mm. fantastic. Mm. Um, and then inside of this, as you can see, um, we have three different types of peppers. We got some chives and some red onions. Hopefully don't we don't cry while we're cutting them, but you're like matching the color of the peppers. It's kind of perfect. Fantastic. <laughs> and then and what else do we need? For our pasta, we've got rotini. Ooh. Um, love that. Some sea salt. Can't go wrong with salt. Um Cherry peppers, they're sliced. Ooh, so we, got, then, we have a lot of peppers going yes. on for you guys. A lot, a little, a little lot spicy, of peppers, if yes. you will. Actually, and none of these are spicy. They are all sweet. <laughs> <laughs> and then just sweet Italian dressing to put on top when it's all done. Oh, and guess what? The sweet Italian dressing is made from real bell peppers. Like we didn't have enough already. Are you sensing a theme? <laughs> I am. I am. Honestly, growing up, I had no idea what was in pasta salad. I just knew my mom made it and I loved it. Mm. Um, so I'm very excited for us to get to make our own rendition of it. Let's Go through the fun. process ourselves. Yes, yes, precisely. All right, so what, um, what are you excited for diving into this spring um, of Syracuse? Um, my intramural basketball team. Ooh. Hey. Guys, she has mentioned it quite a few times. She's looking <laughs> for three more players. Yeah. Do you know a basketball player? Uh, have you guys tried to kill a recruit buddy yet? I heard he can't play in the ACC anymore. I'm not at home. Wrong channel here, wrong channel. But um, I kind of want to pull the swide. He's got a place in my heart. But I don't know. Apparently, if you're on a pro team, you're not allowed to participate in intramural teams. What is this? Oh, that's ridiculous that they're letting you play since you're so fantastic. I mean, I think it's unfair to the other players, honestly, guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, it is. My height just kind of like elevates me as a player. I'm definitely not stuck at the sixth grade level. <laughs> well, you know what, Paige? If you really need someone, I'll be on your team. Don't you worry. Thank All you. right, now let's dive into this lovely pasta salad. All right, so first and foremost, guys, you gotta make sure you wash those hands, okay? We're mm -hmm. diving into some veggies. Like, you don't wanna, you don't wanna have gross hands during that. Um, then, what's, what do you wash next, Miss Paige? The peppers. Ah. Uh, even more important, fantastic. Um, and then after that, we're gonna be chopping them up. Um, honestly, like it depends on how thinly you personally want them sliced. Um, we're thinking about like pretty thin, I feel like, right? Yeah, I'm gonna do like small cubes just because I don't want like a huge chunk of pepper with my pasta. That's so valid, honestly. I might get tired, so mine might be a little bit bigger than ours, okay. but okay. we'll That's work okay. it out. Wait, so what were you saying earlier about having to chop fresh veggies a lot? Uh, um, growing up? Yeah, reminds me of when I had guinea pigs. Very. <gasps> you guinea pigs? Yeah. Okay, names now. Um, Reese's and Mocha. I'm obsessed. Yeah, based on color, but I was, <laughs> I was much more of a bird. I can picture fan. them. <laughs> <laughs> and so you chopped off uh, fresh veggies for them? Yeah, it was a lettuce, it was like tomatoes and carrots, always. It was their breakfast. Okay. Their lunch and dinner. Can I say you were the most fantastic pet mom ever? That's amazing. Hey, you said it, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we're just gonna keep chopping these up, guys. Um, then we're gonna get into chopping our lovely red onion, um, then our chives, and then we'll check back in with you. All right, friends. Okay, so we discovered that actually that aluminum foil didn't seem like a good idea. Um, so what we're doing instead is our lovely lead editor, Miss um, Rebecca Pod. Um, she has blessed us with her tea kettle, and we're gonna be filling that up with some water, letting that boil, then pouring the pasta in. Guys, it's a bit of it's a bit of a wonky situation, but it really emphasizes the college in college eats. All right, besties. So apparently my co-host for the day is a bit of a science whiz, if you will. Can you, can you tell me a bit about what you're doing, Miss Paige? Yeah, so, well, I'm stirring the pasta right now, but we had just added some table salt. But you know, some other people, the, the science people, might know it as NACL. Oh, and, okay, um, okay. 
It's gonna help it boil a little bit faster. Those ionic bonds working hard, you know what I mean? I haven't had that, heard that word since sophomore year chemistry. Mm. I feel educated right now. Yeah. Thank you. You're so welcome. <laughs> All right, we're all done, and Blair, ah, she left. Um, but we finished the pasta salad, put all of our ingredients in, topped it with the Italian dressing, and now we're gonna go ahead and try it. All right, and now for the moment of truth, we're gonna go ahead and try it. Try to get everything, it's kinda hard. Oh no. All right, it's like one of each. Mmm, <laughs> honestly, pretty fire. Definitely better than what the dining hall could do. I'll give it 8 out of 10.